thank you for stopping by my channel make sure you subscribe click that bell double click it so you get notifications on all and while you're at it make sure your phone has notifications turned on hi beauties it's Jean Bersani with Beauty and the Stamper and Denise <laughs> so I wanted to show you how I made this little guy I know you guys were um, asking about my Michaels haul that I had the little silicones so let me go ahead and show you what I made all right give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already all right let's get going all right I've got my silicone mat and then I've got this sticker that I have it's just a clear sticker and I'm gonna put that right at the bottom of the silicone and it says uh, God bless this hot mess. So I am centering that as best that I can, <laughs> but it sticks to your hand. So it's a little bit difficult. You just have to be really careful. There you go. And now it's in there nice and as center as possible. Then I've got my epoxy and it's, it doesn't take a lot. So I just have that and I'm gonna stir it for a little bit, get some of those bubbles. And then I chose the glitter and I have some leftover glitter from another project that I did. And you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna dump it rather than sprinkle it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some of that in there. Of course I'm using the Arteza glitter. I just love their products. I'll put their link down below for you if you wanted to get any of their um, craft products. They have so much. So, all right. I was going to empty that one. That's the holographic one. And then the last one is going to be a neon pink. And there's not a lot left of that. We're going to put some of that. Oh, <laughs> a little bit too much. So, okay. So I'm gonna just stir that and stir that and get that all mixed in there. See how pretty that looks? And then uh, this is just an epoxy resin that I got at Michael's and you take two equal parts and then you blend and blend and blend uh, for about three minutes. And then that's what makes it come together and harden. So I'm just gonna pour this right on top of that silicone mold the epoxy once it's dry does not stick to silicone at all so it's going to be pretty easy to take out and I'm just making sure I get all of that out probably a little spatula would have worked but I just like to do my crafts and then toss my sticks in the trash so because it gets a little messy it is a messy medium to work with so that's it that's all you do want to take a torch or a heat gun and blow the bubbles out. And that's what I'm doing there. And then we're just going to let it sit for 24 hours and then it hardens. And I'm taking it out. See how easy that popped out? Ta-da! <laughs> and that's what we've got. I hope you like it. I know I sure do. And I just made a cute little coaster. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!